In statistical physics and mathematics, percolation theory describes the behavior of connected clusters in a random graph. The applications of percolation theory to materials science and other domains are discussed in the article Percolation. Topic introduction A representative question and the source of the name is as follows. Assume that some liquid is poured on top of some porous material. Will the liquid be able to make its way from hole to hole and reach the bottom? This physical question is modeled mathematically as a three-dimensional network of n times n times n vertices, usually called sites, in which the edge or bonds between each two neighbors may be open, allowing the liquid through with probability p, or closed with probability 1p, and they are assumed to be independent. Therefore, for a given p, what is the probability that an open path meaning a path, each of whose links is an open bond exists from the top to the bottom? The behavior for large n is of primary interest. This problem, called now bond percolation, was introduced in the mathematics literature by Broadbent and Hammersley 1957, and has been studied intensively by mathematicians and physicists since then. In a slightly different mathematical model for obtaining a random graph, a site is occupied with probability p or empty in which case its edges are removed with probability 1p. The corresponding problem is called site percolation. The question is the same for a given p, what is the probability that a path exists between top and bottom? Similarly, one can ask, given a connected graph at what fraction 1p of failures the graph will become disconnected no large component. The same questions can be asked for any lattice dimension. As is quite typical, it is actually easier to examine infinite networks than just large ones. In this case the corresponding question is, does an infinite open cluster exist? That is, is there a path of connected points of infinite length through the network? By Kolmogorov's 0-1 law, for any given p, the probability that an infinite cluster exists is either 0 or 1. Since this probability is an increasing function of p proof via coupling argument, there must be a critical p denoted by pc below which the probability is always zero and above which the probability is always one. In practice, this criticality is very easy to observe. Even for n as small as 100, the probability of an open path from the top to the bottom increases sharply from very close to 0 to very close to 1 in a short span of values of p. In some cases pc may be calculated explicitly. For example, for the square lattice 2 in two dimensions, pc. One half for bond percolation, a fact which was an open question for more than 20 years and was finally resolved by Harry Keston in the early 1980s. See Keston, 1982. A limit case for lattices in many dimensions is given by the Beta lattice, whose threshold is at P C. 1, z minus 1 for a coordination number z. For most infinite lattice graphs, pc cannot be calculated exactly. <laughs> Universality The universality principle states that the numerical value of PC is determined by the local structure of the graph, whereas the kind of behavior of clusters that is observed below, at, and above PC is independent of the local structure, and therefore, in some sense these behaviors are more natural to consider than PC itself. This universality also means that for a given dimension, the various critical exponents, the fractal dimension of the clusters at PC is independent of the lattice type and percolation type e.g., bond or site. 
However, recently percolation has been performed on a weighted planar stochastic lattice WPSL and found that although the dimension of the WPSL coincides with the dimension of the space where it is embedded, its universality class is different from that of all the known planar lattices. Topic: <laughs> Phases Topic subcritical and supercritical The main fact in the subcritical phase is exponential decay. That is, when p open edges of the graph of size r decays to zero exponentially in r. This was proved for percolation in three and more dimensions by Menshikov 1986 and independently by Eisenman and Barsky 1987. In two dimensions, it formed part of Keston's proof that PC topic one half, the dual graph of the square lattice two is also the square lattice. It follows that in two dimensions, the supercritical phase is dual to a subcritical percolation process. This provides essentially full information about the supercritical model with D two. The main result for the supercritical phase in three and more dimensions is that, for sufficiently large n, there is an infinite open cluster in the two-dimensional slab 2 times 0, n d minus 2. This was proved by Grimmett and Mastron 1990, in two dimensions with p closed edges of the graph. Thus the subcritical phase may be described as finite open islands in an infinite closed ocean. When p greater than one half, just the opposite occurs, with finite closed islands in an infinite open ocean. The picture is more complicated when d3 since p c. Topic critical. The model has a singularity at the critical point p. Topic. PC believed to be of power law type. Scaling theory predicts the existence of critical exponents, depending on the number d of dimensions, that determine the class of the singularity. When d 2 These predictions are backed up by arguments from conformal field theory and schramm lohner evolution, and include predicted numerical values for the exponents. Most of these predictions are conjectural except when the number d of dimensions satisfies either d equals 2 or d19. They include There are no infinite clusters open or closed. The probability that there is an open path from some fixed point say the origin to a distance of r decreases polynomially, i.e. is on the order of r alpha for some alpha alpha does not depend on the particular lattice chosen, or on other local parameters. It depends only on the dimension d this is an instance of the universality principle. Alpha d decreases from d topic 2 until d6 and then stays fixed alpha 2 equals minus 5 48 alpha 6 equals minus 1 the shape of a large cluster in two dimensions is conformally invariant see grimmett 1999 in 11 or more dimensions these facts are largely proved using a technique known as the lace expansion it is believed that a version of the lace expansion should be valid for seven or more dimensions, perhaps with implications also for the threshold case of six dimensions. The connection of percolation to the lace expansion is found in Hara and Slade 1990. .In two dimensions, the first fact no percolation in the critical phase is proved for many lattices, using duality. Substantial progress has been made on two-dimensional percolation through the conjecture of Odded Schramm that the scaling limit of a large cluster may be described in terms of a schramm lona evolution. This conjecture was proved by Smirnov 2001 in the special case of site percolation on the triangular lattice. 
Topic different models Directed percolation that models the effect of gravitational forces acting on the liquid was also introduced in Broadbent and Hammersley 1957, and has connections with the contact process. The first model studied was Bernoulli percolation. In this model all bonds are independent. This model is called bond percolation by physicists. A generalization next was introduced as the fortuin castellan random cluster model, which has many connections with the Ising model and other Potts models. Bernoulli bond percolation on complete graphs is an example of a random graph. The critical probability is p equals 1, n, where n is the number of vertices sites of the graph. Bootstrap percolation removes active cells from clusters when they have too few active neighbors, and looks at the connectivity of the remaining cells. First passage percolation. Invasion percolation. Percolation with dependency links was introduced by Parshani et al. Percolation and the opinion model. Percolation under localized attack was introduced by Berezin et al. See also Shao et al. Percolation of traffic in cities was introduced by Daking Li et al. Introducing recovery of nodes and links in percolation. Percolation in 2D with a characteristic link length. A generalized percolation model that introduces a fraction of reinforced nodes in a network that can function and support their neighborhood was introduced by Yanking Hu et al. Topic. Applications Topic. In biology and biomedicine Percolation theory has been applied to studies of how environment fragmentation impacts animal habitats, models of how the plague bacterium Yersinia pestis spreads, and how amounts of certain elastic fibers may aid in diagnosing chronic obstructive pulmonary disease See also